Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X, also known as the Redmi K40 and the Poco F3. Now, it's been a couple of weeks since Android 12 was officially released in the form of beta for this particular device in the Chinese variant. And since then, we have been getting Xiaomi.eu Chinese builds, which are not exactly ready for a daily driver. So what do you do then? Well, you come to phone ops because I'm going to give you a quick impressions, which will help you decide should you install it or not. And trust me, for now, you don't want to install it. But before we get into the details, if you like watching custom ROM stuff and new experiments with smartphones every single day, please subscribe to us and hit the notification bell icon because that doesn't cost you anything and it really, really motivates us. If you like chatting with like-minded people or need some help with flashing or suggestions, join us on Telegram. We have more than a thousand like-minded people. We are also present on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. Right, so what do we have here? We have the latest version of Xiaomi.eu for the Mi 11X, Poco F3 and the Redmi K40. So if you go to MIUI version over here, you will see that it says currently installed MIUI 12.6.21.11.3 weekly, right? So if you go over here and say what's new, you will see this is the long list that comes out now the letter part is not that important but i will still read it out to you because for guys who are new you need to know why you shouldn't be flashing the android 12 based xiaomi.eu for now because it's still not ready for daily driver a lot of things are missing and you know a lot of things are missing to be honest so for example under system it says android 12 update for xiaomi mi mix 4 not not relevant to us smart toolbox feature allows to open apps in floating windows everywhere settings special features smart toolbox will definitely check that out now under security automated tasks is redesigned for android 12 devices camera extended preserve settings we will check that browser fix videos were not playing properly for android 12 devices music fix ringtones editor didn't work properly right now over here this is the important part that you need to pay attention to if you're using a Mi 11X, a Redmi K40 or the Poco F3. Tip for Android 12 devices because TWRP doesn't work with Android 12. The update needs to be flashed in fast boot mode. Download the zip package, unpack it and run update without formatting data with formatting data whatever whatever. It in its last Android 12 beta for these devices, camera doesn't work properly for these devices. Starting 27 November there will be no beta ROMs for yeah. The phone that matters to us is the K20 Pro. Ignore that. Now the known Android 12 issues, Wi-Fi issues, randomly disconnect and won't connect back until Wi-Fi is turned off and on again. If you face in Europe, change the region to UK. If you face it in Asia, change the region to China, known MIUI China issue. This change log doesn't mention all changes made by Xiaomi.eu. So if you further go into the details of this particular ROM, if you go to all specs, you will see that the security is the October security patch. So yes, we've still not got the November security patch. And this is the version Xiaomi.eu 21.11.3 beta, right? Now let's go back to the main settings menu. And before that, let's go to the home screen. Now you will notice that the display on this particular phone right now is not that smooth, not that fluid. So let me tell you why that is happening. Because right now, if I take you to Chrome and say, let's do a UFO test here. I can always display the screen refresh rate, but this one is quicker. As you can see, the phone is running in 60 hertz mode. I can't, for the love of God, find the option to enable 120 hertz refresh rate in Xiaomi.eu Android 12 beta, right? There is something really, really weird. Also, another thing is if you go to settings, if you go to my device, and if you go to all specs, you keep tapping on it, you will definitely get the Android 12 Easter egg over here, right? And then if you press and hold over here, and you go to widgets, the Android 12 Easter egg. There you go. As you can see, right. So for some reason, there are features that are missing, like, you know, the screen refresh rate to be changed to 120. That is a very, very basic thing. But leave that aside, let's talk about other things that are present. For example, if you long press over here, you will notice that this is the MIUI 13 launcher. So if you go to more, you can set the minus one screen to Google Discover. That works really, really fine. And 
arrange item in recents you can set them to horizontally show memory status all these features which were present earlier are present even now as well double tap to lock screen and stuff like that is always present and it works absolutely fine now the good thing about xiaomi.eu is even in the 60 hertz mode once once you've allowed the ref this particular google feed to refresh it works absolutely fine it doesn't have many stutters many jitters and things like those and if you talk to me about android 12 versus android 11 i don't really apart from you know being slightly more smooth i don't really see any major features being added for example they did claim that they have added the smart toolbox so let's go to special features over here right and let's go to smart toolbox always show right left okay so this is the smart toolbox over here as you can see over here so basically what you can do over here is you can launch any app in floating window mode which is really really neat i'm not saying it is bad by any means but how often do you you know actually go ahead and use these features as you can see say let's launch telegram in window mode well these features are pretty useful i'm not saying they're not useful at all but yes they are adding features one by one the mi 13 launcher is there if you go to the security application you will see that you have the game turbo i have the block list and all the other features so if you go to security this is the latest security version so if you actually go to say an app which has game turbo enabled there you go this is the new game turbo which has voice changer timer and all the other things and the game turbo is working absolutely fine if you click over here you can actually go to the performance mode it does heat up the device but that's that's there if you're going to get performance the device is going to heat heat up right even if you go to the battery section over here you do have the performance mode right now one thing that i wonder about is you have the performance mode in game turbo and then you have the performance mode in battery i think they both should be linked tell me if i'm wrong but in my opinion they both should be linked so that is there and i've ran all the benchmarks with this performance mode enabled and in the latest build of xiaomi.eu based on android 12 or this particular weekly update that xiaomi has released in china the performance has not been that great for example let's first go to safety net over here safety net passes by default if you go to the play store your device is certified now if you actually talk about bugs say you go to the camera application and you want to use wide angle it'll get stuck over there you can't do anything there you go so such bugs are present they are there it's not to say that you know there are no bugs and you should just use mi 12 for example if you go to settings over here and you go to display see there are no features at all like so many advanced features which were present in android 11 so the reason why this is happening is these are early builds of Android 12 for MIUI and that is the reason a lot of features are missing. Now to sum this video up, let's talk about the benchmark numbers. So first thing that we will check is the CPU throttle test. As you can see over here, the CPU average score is 199 493 GIPS. That is like the Snapdragon 860 territory or the K20 Pro territory with 95% throttling. Okay, now let's talk about N22 over here. 681 243. So pretty decent score there. And if you actually go to Geekbench and you talk about history. 945 single core 2735 multi core so the performance is not there the features are not there and it is right now not the best time to flash xiaomi.eu on your mi 11x the redmi k40 or the poco f3 these are the initial impressions of the latest weekly update by xiaomi or xiaomi.eu let me know in the comment section if you have any video suggestions until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye